Hey guys, Jamie here today on Roblox, so we're playing some more Pokemon Brick Bronze. As you can see on screen right now for the first battle we're battling against VNDXES, I know how you pronounce that, V... I have, I have no idea, I, I honestly can't even tell you, but he's using a Dragonite, Holy Hidden Ability, Mandibuzz, Mega Alakazam, Chancer, Gliscor, and a... Um... Toxapex, that, that, yeah, how can I forget that? Well, I got Garchomp for the Toxapex, I have Ice for the Gliscor, don't really have anything for that, that, I, I guess I have this, but, gotta save that, so let's lead off with this, e wait, is this a good idea? Yes, lead off with this, if I lead off with this, he's gonna go into the Toxapex or the Chancer, if he leads off with, he's probably, if I had to guess, I'd assume he's gonna lead off with the Toxapex for the Toxic Spikes or the Dragon Knights. Toxapex, I'm gonna go for its, um, well, I can get my Aurora Veil also, I think I want to do that. If it goes for the Toxic Spikes, I can Encore it and then go into my Fortress, I guess. That seems like a good idea. Let's go for that Aurora Veil then. Because both my moves are resistant since it is Water, resists Ice, and it's Poison which resists Fairy. Toxic, okay, let's Encore it. Wait, do I have it? I just realized my team doesn't have anything to get rid of that, does it? I don't think it does, okay. Do I even encore it? Because it's going to be predicted that I'm going to swap out, right? Um, let's go for the encore, really quickly. I'm trying to think actually, can I just encore it? Oh, it might swap out now though, actually. This might be a bad idea, but I guess we'll see, right? I'm just going to go for the encore. Noise. But I can't swap out, I have to swap out now though into my... Um, rapid spinner thing, which I want the Toxic Spike, I mean, I want my Stealth Rocks up, I guess, so I guess I probably should just do it anyway, right? Get three top Stealth Rocks up, but then again, he's gonna go into his Mandibuzz to get Deep Hog straight away, so let's do it anyway, because I'm predicting him to predict me to go into his Mandibuzz. This turn? Chance okay, well... My focus slash is gonna get broken because of the hail, but it's fine. Um, by healer up, he doesn't. Okay, let's go for the Vault Switch Lin now because he's gonna swap out into his Mandibuzz, predicting me to get Stealth Rocks, right? I can get a super effective hit, go back into my. I guess I could actually go into the. Oh no, because I can't get Toxic Stall by this thing, because if I get Toxic to my. Um, Pinsa, that's kind of like GG, because I can't get rid of it, because I don't have Heal Bell or Aromatherapy on any of my Pokemon right now. Which, I uh, didn't really realize that until now, so... Yeah, I completely forgot about that, but oh well. I guess we'll see a little how it goes. I mean, I might swap out the Ploitoads, or something of maybe the Al Alolan... Um, Alolan. Ninetales. I don't know why I keep forgetting all this right now. But yeah, I'm predicting to swap out. I mean, it should be fairly obvious that he's going to. If not, I'm going to be very surprised, let's just say that. But I want to go into my... No, I think I'm predicting the Mandibus. I guess we'll just see what he sends out first. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I haven't... Status him, so he can... it doesn't need to heal Bell. It doesn't need to heal. It doesn't need to... Re... Uh, so it doesn't need to heal Bell, doesn't need to heal, can't Toxic, he's gonna Seismic Toss, I'll swap out, oh, did he? Okay, took him a long time. Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz made the right prediction. The reason why I wanted to go into the Mandibuzz right now is so I didn't take the 25% health from swapping into it after the rest of the Stealth Rocks, but it's better to predict me setting it up instantly. Then we can go into our... We can't actually go into the Garchomp, that's not actually a bad idea. Oh, I could've gone into the Pinsir, but I just realised, I mean... Pretty sure we- I think kind of bug re resists Dark, I know it's good against it, but my physical attack's so high, I can't send that out. Let's go into the Polytoad for the Ice Beam, um... Because if, so if it goes into his... Actually, I could try a Toxic on it, but not really. That's a bad idea. I could go for the Scald Burn, though. Or the I think the Ice Freeze is technically better, so I guess I'll Ice Beam it. Okay, come on, let's get this on. Toxic, okay. Good right Ice Beam then. Can I get a good hit? I mean, it's not going to do too much, I mean, compared to like, the Alolan Ninetales versions that uh, hit, but 
I guess Bella nothing, right? That did not really do a lot. This might be a fully EV train, hit points, special defense. Ice Beam again. We could actually anchor it, but nah. Roost. Ooh, kinda wish I did. Uh, should have scouted that turn, but oh well. Okay, no freeze. I'm probably not gonna get a freeze hit at all. I mean, my luck is terrible for those. Do I really not have any heal bellas? I really don't. That's really, really bad, by the way. Okay, Ice Beam again. I'm just gonna go for the freeze chance. I know he's gonna withdraw into his toxic effect, so he's chance it. One or the other. This is gonna just seismic toss me, so hopefully I get the freeze. No, okay. I'm gonna throw a toxic onto it, but all I have to do is just swap out, but it lets me just like force it to swap out eventually. Because it's just gonna seismic toss me at this turn. I don't have a poison type, I mean a ghost type right now to like do I like, do nothing, but oh well. I'm taking some nasty damage right now. I could just encore it, but there's no real point. Okay, let's go into the um, let's go into the pincer now. Is pincer a good idea? I mean, if it gets toxic, not really. But I could go. I mean, if I get toxic, I can take down still a couple of his Pokemon. Hmm. Or maybe the guard jump's better. And just dragon claw it. But then again, I don't really know. The Incineroar could just Flare Blitz it straight up, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's going to the Incineroar. Actually, I guess the Aurora Veil was really, was really good, because I could have probably Sword Dance and then survived the hit slightly. Okay, I went, to the, I went into the Incineroar though, because it can't, it's going to have to get 4 hit KO'd. Then I can go for my... I could actually Fake Out Blitz, just Flare Blitz it, predicting the swap out into the Toxapex? Oh, Gliscor, okay. Flare Blitz, can I get that burn chance instead? Come on, that'd be so nice right now. Oh, it's leftovers, okay. Um, Flare Blitz again, I mean, he's gonna Earthquake me. It was actually gonna Roost. Okay, now he's not a flying type, but oh well. Flare Blitz again, give me the burn. Give me the burn. Okay, Lynn, never mind. Okay, Lynn is gonna Earthquake most likely, so let's go into the um, let's go into the Politoads. I mean, it's gonna work quick. I might as well sell my Incineroar right now. Oh, he's just gonna... He's really evil. He was just gonna Roost Bam. Okay. Okay, I'm predicting the swap out. Let's go for the... Toxic? I wonder if it's a Toxic healer. I doubt it, to be honest. But he has a Heal Bella, so for now, Toxic isn't really gonna do anything at all. Chancer. Okay, there we go. Get that little bit of Toxic damage onto it, I guess. Oh, it misses. Well, I wish I just scalded, right? I, I die this turn anyway. Scald. Okay, I, hopefully I can get a burn. Probably not. Gonna withdraw into the Toxpex land. Fly skull. Okay. Oh, it is a heal. It is a um, toxic heal. That's why it went into it. Oh, give him the burn. Oh, can I die from this? No, I'm not gonna die from this turn. He went into this because it is a toxic stall. It is a toxic heal one. But he's got leftovers for someone to like trick people to talk, try and toxic stall it. I see. He's going for like the different routes, but not really sure if that's the like, best idea. I mean, it kind of almost worked. I mean, if he didn't swap out, <laughs> I would have toxic to it. But it might have missed since it missed against the chance that I'm not sure if it would have missed or not. Since it's different circumstances, I guess. I don't really know. Earthquake, I'm KO'd. Although, he can't really do too much to uh, my Mega Pinsir, can he? Not really, so I can go for a free Saw Dance, to be honest. Mold Breaker. Let's go for the um, Mega Saw Dance. Yeah, Saw Dance now. Okay, I'm gonna get my Mega off. What's he gonna do low? If he earthquakes, I'm, I resist it, but now I am um, immune to it, so it gets a knockoff. If I saw dance, I wonder if I'm an, I wonder if it's enough to one hit KO the Mandibuzz. Get that saw dance off, don't hit me too hard, please. Roost, okay. Nice. Let's go for another one. Another one. <laughs> this is gonna hit like a truck now. Saw dance again. We're going for a wall of them, okay. Nothing on this team can really stop this now. Knockoff. That's not gonna do too much. That, that was a crit, by the way. 
That was a crit. Yeah, I didn't even do 71 to my health. We could go for another one, but is it risky? Nah, let's go for another one. Is a little bit greedy, okay, but we need to make sure we want to kill everything. And my heart is racing. I hope this works. Whew. I could just potentially sweep right now. Return. What's it gonna go into the next level? Okay, fly scores one hit KO is easy. Easy. Easy! <laughs> this Pokemon so OP once it gets going. I mean, it's typing is weird because, um, how it works. Oh, a Dragonite? That could be a little discouraging. I could swap out, but I'm gonna, just gonna return it, okay? Just gonna return it and. S oh, he outspeeds me, extreme speed. Doesn't do that much, okay? It did actually do a ton. We still won hit KO, which I believe was a hidden ability Dragonite. Still. I'm pretty sure that was a hidden ability one. That actually did, that extreme speed did a lot of damage though. <laughs> Come on, I think I think we win, right? Even with the Mega Alakazam, we have the um, quick attack on plus six. It's not gonna live, especially with Mega Alakazam's low. Um, physical defense. We kind of need the pincer load for the um, the mandibles, I believe. Actually, I guess the uh, lower knights is going to do it, but I mean, what are you going to do? Okay, so mega pincer. It is literally overpowered. I, I can't really say that because its typing is very, very bad. Like bug flying, four times weak to rock, weak to fire, weak to flying. Weak to electric, weak to ice. There's so many weaknesses for it. I think there's like five or six weaknesses for it. But for Mega Pincer stats, 105 speed is all it needs because also Pokemon, some Pokemon like it does outspeed. Most of its stats are pointed speed, not its defenses. Or it's either like its speed and its attack or physical special attack. Not really its defensive stats, which is why it is really, really good because um, I have quick attack and if I get a one sword dance off, with my insane 155 base physical attack, nothing's gonna work. Return. Come on, please one hit KO. Oh. <laughs> I love this. I should have probably moved over a little bit. Come on. Let me just one hit KO this thing. Is it gonna go for that protect thing and just poison me? Nope. Can it one hit KO it? Of course it can, it's a Mega Pincer. Who am I joking? I mean, it's a, it's a return with what, 104 base attack or something like that. Like OP. Oh, Chancer? Don't worry, Chancer. I've got a special move for you. It's called Close Combat. Close Combat. Oh, yeah. It does decrease my um, special defense and my physical defense, but it's only got the Mega Alakazam left and I have Quick Attack. Even if it does have Sucker Punch or some prior to move, I'm pretty sure Mega Alakazam doesn't get special attacking one, so it is ripped. I mean... I'm sorry, okay. Uh, he said that apparently that I battled him before, I think before we battled, but... Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I ended up winning. My rank went up by a good amount, but... Um, he said that we battled before, and he said they wanted revenge. Oh, he actually traced my aerial hits! <laughs> oh, that would actually be funny for you. I actually could use a Mega Alakazam with Aerial Hit, but I don't exactly remember the Battling Sky before, but my gosh, Mega Pincer does not take, it's, it's not, it's just not fair. <laughs> it's not fair, given, I, did I give him the GG? I don't know if I did, but give him, give him the GG again, even if I, I don't actually, I didn't actually, but my gosh, Mega Pincer is literally overpowered. I mean, if you let me get one Sword Dance off, it might as well just let me get all another three, another two off to be honest, like all three Sword Dancers off, because I mean, it's very difficult to like, tank a plus two pincer, never mind a plus six, I mean there's no way you're going to tank a freaking plus six, but anyway, that's it for the first battle, I'll be back in a second for the next battle. Okay, on for the next battle we have Matthew likes Pokemo 1, using a Mega Manetric, a Fortress, I'm not sure if that's one that i give given out, or if it's the exact same set, I'm pretty sure most people run T-Spike, Spikes, a Stealth Fox and Explosion, like a very, like, just get everything out set. Might have Rapid Spin, potentially, but um, that Crobat ha could have a um, Defog. Actually, um, I've used, like, these three Pokemon and that one fairly recently. I haven't done a video yet on Mega Manetric or something like, like the Far Future, because it is pretty good. Not sure if it's better than this, though, to be honest, but... Oh, well, I haven't done one on Crobat yet. I have no one on Glasgow, because that's 
really really common. Crobat's kind of common. These three are like fairly like under underused to be honest. Like you don't really see them too often. Forge is gonna see a little bit more often now because of the rapid spin and the stealth rock. It's a fairly good stealth rock in my opinion. I'm gonna lead off with this um, and predict him to lead off with his Nido Queen or his Minetric. He's gonna lead off with his Crobat. Okay. I could fake out, but I'm pretty sure it has inner focus, so I'm just gonna go straight for the um, Flare Blitz and hope that I get good damage. He might go for a U-turn. I'd suggest he'd probably U-turn into his... Um, actually, wait, does he even, even have, anything, have anything like a tank of Flare Blitz? Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Okay, okay I, I don't know, I don't remember his team. Into a Goliath... Okay, that would make sense, but... How tanky is it? Give me the freaking burn! No. Now the thing is though, because the Gliscor usually runs Toxic Kill, obviously, I mean, that's fairly obvious, right? I really, really want to get like the Flare Bliss burn chance onto it, even though it's very, very, sl like, very, very slight. People have got the Flare Bliss burn onto me. I don't- I have rarely, rarely got it. I think I've only got like twice before. Oh wait. Oh my god, I could actually do it again. I could really, really do it again. I could really, really be disgusting right now, but I'm not sure if I really want to. Um, let's go into the Politoed and predicting to swap out. Could go for the Scal, but I think I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam, predicting to swap out. He's gonna go for the Protect. Kinda wish I went in the Pinsir now, because I mean, that's free damage, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go for the Ice Beam. Actually, I could just Toxic, because they're gonna swap out, but if there's a Nido Queen, I'd rather not try and Toxic a Nido Queen, so no thank you. Because Nido Queens usually will run like it might be a T spike set, so maybe his fault just isn't running T spikes. Probably it's probably just a stealth rocker with um, probably like a similar move to, set to mine. Like maybe rapid spin um, stealth rocks, maybe gyro ball or ball switch. Okay, gonna ice beam you. Um, I'm hoping you go. F I'm, okay, don't get the freeze. So leftovers. I'm gonna scald it for the burn chance. I'm predicting to go for the. Stealth Rocks, which I'm then gonna encore him. Okay, Scald. Good job, I outspeed you. I get the burn. Shame I don't get it on my Flare Blitz. Stealth Rocks, predicted. Could go for that again. Um, and just, I mean, could could actually just encore him, but um, the Scald will one hit KO it now, so I think I just want to Scald it. And I actually could just swap out and just Rapid Spin, to be honest, but Scald again? I'm actually predicting to swap out. Let's Scald it. Scaled it for the burn chest and another Pokemon, it's definitely worth it. He is now- oh, I got a critical hit. I wish I didn't get a critical hit on that situation, which I critical hit did before, so he didn't get a Stealth Rocks up, but oh well. Get into the Minetric, that's gonna go for an Electric type move. I do have that, but if it has hidden power, Ice, uh, no thank you. Um, it's probably just gonna Thunderball. I'm just gonna stay in and just go for the Ice Beam. Gonna get the freeze. Okay, it's gonna mega evolve, gonna get that intimidate, which is why I didn't really want to swap out too much. Okay, if I go into okay, now the problem is low. If it doesn't I'm hoping it vault switches. If it doesn't vault switch, it probably has flamethrower. If I send up my fault just a rapid spin, it lo I lose health because of the stealth rock damage and I don't heal up until after the turn. Let me just tank one hit. Yes, don't paralyze me. Nice. Give me the freeze. No, okay then. Well. I'll take it. Let's go for the um, Ice Beam again. I guess next turn I'll just go into the Garchomp. Okay, it's actually going to Volt Switch this turn. Interesting, I can actually go for my Rapid Spin now. Um, so I'm going to take that. He's most likely going to go into his Gliscor now, I would assume. Uh, maybe actually... Actually... Hmm, I think it would be a smart idea, because then doesn't he get the Poison Heal? Crowbar, okay, that's a smart play as well. Let's go into our fortress. He's gonna go into his. He's gonna U-turn back into his. Um... What's he gonna do, low? I have to wrap his spin low against this. Quickly wrap his spin. He's most likely gonna go U-turn. Oh, he's actually gonna taunt. Well, I wrap his spins. I wasn't really gonna. I wasn't wanting stealth rocks, but I'll go for that first. Now, he's gonna U-turn into his Minetric to flamethrower. I'm gonna go for my. Actually, I could gyro ball it, but. I'm gonna Volt Switch it now, because I'm predicting an MTU turn me. Okay, but I got rid of his Stealth Rocks. His uh, Nido Queen might have T-Spikes, which isn't that much of a pain. Well, it kind of is, but not really. I mean, I can get rid of them fairly easily. Plus, if he gets two lays down, 
that will start causing me problems, but if it's only one layer, this shouldn't really be that much, because I think it does the exact same as like a, a burn. Anyway, you turn back into the Manetric, I would assume. Oh wait, if it goes into the Nido Queen, as Vol switched. Not into the Nido Queen, please. Oh, he played me for a fiddle. <laughs> okay, I'll give him props for that. That's actually smart. He got the right play. Probably has flame for on this, so I'm actually gonna swap out into my Garchomp. Might not be the best idea because he might predict me and go for an ice beam, but if I go into this, I can earthquake. Okay, here's a flamethrower, so I did predict it right. Good I didn't go into my uh, Nido Queen, because that would be bad. The reason why I went didn't go into my um, wait, it's not a hidden ability because it took life fall damage, but the reason I didn't go into the Incineroar because it's EV train slightly in speed, I'm pretty sure it outspeeds me. Actually, it might outspeed me even if it isn't EV train in speed. And I don't want to get hit by the Earth Power, okay? Okay, now let's go for the um, Earthquake. How should I do I'll Earthquake it. If it swaps out, it swaps out. Swapping out into the Crobat. Into the Granville, okay. I mean, this should hit it kind of hard, but not really. Should do. Eh, uh, okay. Could swap out, but probably not worth it. He's gonna play rough Milo now. So let's go into the fortress. I still haven't set up my stealth rocks yet, by the way. It looks like I can set them up now, although he I still think he might have defog on his crowbat. But he has taunt, so maybe not. Play real shouldn't do too much. We could gyro ball and hit it. Actually, it's very actually I get nah. There's no point even gyro balling it. We've already done gyro ball against the ground ball, it did not work out at all. But yeah, it's one of those teams, just, um, what's it called, Manetric, Granbull. If it's, if there's a Manetric on a team, so there's a lot, there's a good chance that there will be a Granbull, because double Intimidate. Crowbat is in there, because of, of the Vault Switch U-turn strategy that we can use, since they're very fast, and then double Intimidate is really, really strong, because they're going to swap out non-stop. They're going to swap out into his Crowbat, I would assume, Flyscar. Pretty smart. I can't vault switch against this low. Good jar ball, but not really gonna work against this. What's he gonna use low is the question. Let's go into actually we could go into the pincer now and go for a free saw dance, because he's gonna probably protect this turn for the full heal. Or will he? It might actually try and knock off my leftovers. Let's go into the um Let's go into the pincer now. Uh, he could earthquake, but I mean I am a bug, so I resist it. My defenses aren't the highest, but I mean I should tank it. Mod breaker, knockoff shouldn't do too much, even though I'm not a mega yet. That's fine. Not sure. Not sure if I should mega evolve yet. Let's go for a sword dance the first. Actually, we could probably just return it. Let's go for a sword dance the first turn, just in case it do has rocks on this thing. I don't want to mega because I'm just instantly dead. Okay, gonna withdraw it into the Manetric. Manetric. Uh, gonna take some Stealth Rocks damage. Because it's gonna get the Intimidate. I might just want to. I just, kind of just want to stay in against it, low. Let me do some damage calculations really quickly. Is it worth me Mega Ring? Because I'm pretty sure Electric resists flying moves. Or is it worth me just staying in the normal form and just quick attacking it? Not sure, so I'll do a damage calculation to see which one does more damage. Kill okay, on Pincer. Okay, let's do um, normal pincer OU wall breaker against Manectric. Mega Manectric. I have plus one. Quick attack will do 20. Uh, will only do 18 to 21 percent. So nowhere near close enough to take it down. Pincer Mega. So monotype saw dance. Plus one will do. Around the same, so not really a lot. Whereas he can do a ton. Um, I mean, he's gonna like probably vault switch. I kind of just want to go for it, but I kind of really need the pincer. Or do I? I mean, I could probably just take this thing down, but let's go into the. What's he gonna do? Thunderbolt, most likely. He's got a thunderbolt, isn't he? Oh, he could flamethrower, but Garchomp, I'll swap out. If I was on plus two, I was actually gonna withdraw his again into the ground ball and probably double intimidate. He didn't evolve switch. A little scared about the quick attack. I don't really, I don't blame him, but it is enough to KO it so I got to swap out myself into my guard chomp. Now let's go for that. Actually I guess we could just yeah I guess I'll just iron head it. Iron head, give me the flinch on the KO. Good enough, give me the flinch I swear. That'd be so amazing. 
Nah, I'll take it. I'm gonna get KO'd right here. But that's good damage. Wait. Oh, the rough skin I've got on my hidden ability. Hey, <laughs> got him. I got him indeed. Okay, let's go into the. Um, uh, let's go into the fortress now. He's gonna go into the Minetric, He should. Oh, crowbar. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's go for the gyro ball this turn, then. Gyro ball. Uh, he's gonna U-turn into the. Uh, he should swap out into his Nido Queen. Nido Queen is predicting the Bolt Switch. Gyro Ball just get a little bit of damage. He's gonna flame throw me now this turn. I'm gonna go into my Incineron Fake Out. Hopefully it works. Probably not, but can't exactly like do too much against it. Flame Thrower again. Yeah, predicted the Flame Thrower. Shouldn't do too much, but I'm pretty sure his earth power is going to destroy me, even though I do have this. I'm going to have to fake out all the first turn. He might swap out. He is actually surprising. Surprised he didn't stay in. Into the Gliscar. Okay, let's go for that. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, Len. He's probably going to go for Earthquake. I'm going to go into my Pinsir. Actually, I could go into the Ninetales, but not really worth it right now. Kinda need the Nine Tails for the late game for the Gliscar. I'm going for the Pinsir, and I'm just gonna go for the Mega this turn, and I'm just gonna return. Okay, Toxic, noise. Okay, oh, it misses, that sucks for him. But I'm just gonna go straight for the Mega return. Because he's gonna swap out most likely, predicting me to like Sword Dance again. But I'm just gonna go for the return. If he doesn't swap out, fine. And I can just start return spamming, I guess, but. He most likely wants to swap out. He knows if I go for a- he knows the Gliscor can't hit me. The last battle I literally just use a Gliscor to set up plus 6 physical attack. He knows he can't stay in against this thing. He literally just witnessed me destroy someone with this exact same Pokemon. Swapping out into the Nido Queen. That's a good return right there. And for me, should be able to get it. So giving up his Nido Queen, which means my- I guess my Fortress has, like, has a pretty good um, way to not die in now, but the um, his Minetric has a flame throw as well, so be careful. Return, should be able to take down that. Kinda wish I went for a Sword Dance, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. Get that, is that down. He's gonna go into his Minetric now? Crowbat now, okay. That does outspeed me, but I wonder if Quick Attack would be enough. Oh, he doesn't have any more Pokemon that kind of- Oh, he has. He does have a, um, he does have something called this, actually. He's gonna go for a- Actually, he's gonna go for a Brave Bird this turn. Let's go into the Incineroar. We don't need the Incineroar anymore, I believe. So let's go into the Incineroar. What do I even need the Incineroar for? Just Fake Out, I guess? We're gonna Brave Bird. I was right. Gonna do a good amount. Just gonna get that recall damage. I'm predicting him to like U-turn or something like that, so I'm just going to go for the fake out for a little bit of damage, even though it probably has inner focus and isn't going to get flinched. Just that little bit of damage can maybe get me the uh, damage roll that I need from quick attack, obviously, is what I need right now. Go for the fake out. It's going to U-turn. Perfect. Bad thing is though, I don't know why I'd U-turn that situation, but I'm not going to say anything about it. Into the Gliscor. Minetric, okay. Uh, the Intimidate didn't go off there, so um, am I good? Just uh, I'm not really sure if I should go into that or not. Could go into my Ninetales, but is that really a good idea right now? Is that really a good idea? Okay, there's a fly in my arm. Please go away. Um, if I let the if I go into this right now, that could be good, right? Because I could get a little bit of like damage. Okay, let me go. Let me do this then. Let me do. Do I do that? Okay, I'm gonna go into the Nine Tails for the hail damage. Just a little bit of damage, okay? Hail, just damage it, just let him whittle him down a little bit more because he's very close to like 20%, right? So I'll pull into my Fortress Len now, which is gonna, is gonna flamethrower. I already know that, but I mean, can't actually do too much to it. So flamethrower is gonna do that. Is that gonna be enough? That's should be enough to one that hail me. I mean, there's no way it doesn't, right? Okay, there's that. Okay, Hail's gonna crash down. I don't know how low it is low now. 
That is low, but I don't think that's low enough, unfortunately. Into the, um, we could go into the pincer now, to be honest. Just quick attack it, and then the nine tails might be okay just to finish off, but I doubt it. I think it's probably the best, I think my safest bet is to go into the nine tails again. And try to go for, I mean, flamethrower, if, if it hits me, I'm probably dead. But, let's just go for the blizzard, for no reason. Come on, please live a hit. This would be so amazing if I, if I could live this. Oh my gosh, I actually do. Okay, well, I kind of wish I stayed in land, but Blizzard did my net trick. He's down. Kind of wish I, uh... Actually, I, I win now, anyway. His glass score can't do anything. Crowbar is dead from Stealth Rocks. So, I mean, yeah, I already knew that was a thing. So I didn't really know why you turned. That was kind of... Kind of that was kind of strange when I saw that, but we win. Blizzard, nine tails coming in clutch. Oh yeah, not gonna lie, wasn't suspecting it to survive, which is why I was kind of freaking out, thinking I actually might lose this if my if I can't take him down low enough for my um, pincer to KO. But give him the GG. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed a fairly long video, I guess, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.